And did you have to come to terms with the fact that you weren't going to make it as a right winger? <laughs> when I left school, I think, um, well, slowly actually, I, I found myself out of the school team at one point. I was, I was playing for Brighton and wasn't getting in my school team. So I thought, Bim now, so it's going to have to change here. I might have to change position and um, worked my way back and had a little bit of a growth spurt and then become a centre half. So, um, yeah, the, my school team, I'll say, was a very good one. That's why I wasn't getting in it. <laughs> Not because I wasn't playing very well. You had some um, loan spells in non-league when you were with Brighton and then all of a sudden you would have got the call to uh, come to Bournemouth in October 2011. Just give us your memories of that day. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good day because how, uh, previously I'd been told I wasn't going on loan and I'd be um, kind of waiting in the wind for, for a chance at Brighton if it ever came along. Uh, so when I got told I was um, going to Bournemouth, it was a... Uh, I was delighted and I, I really couldn't wait to play obviously a, a good standard of football and uh, obviously I was only going for a, a month at the start but yeah I was um, I couldn't wait and I spoke to Bradders on the phone on the way down and kind of really sunk in that I was actually going to go and actually play league football which I'd never really managed to, to nail down. Probably had a look at the league one table just before you arrived you would have had to look a long way down to find Bournemouth I think they were fourth from bottom what was your Memories of that and that debut away at Preston. Yeah, do you know what? I wasn't even, I wasn't fussed where, whereabouts the club were. Um, I was just probably uh, selfish reasons going in to just go and prove to to myself and and, and Brighton that I could could play at a, a good level. And um, obviously, if I managed to help Bournemouth along the way, then it was terrific. And uh, the debut was perfect, apart from going one nil down. I think quite early on, um, it was a perfect debut for myself, and uh, I think we we managed to go on a, a bit of a run after that, and um, that made made everything even more more sweeter. And once the loan was um, finished, you left, and the club was about halfway up the league table. And then it was an interesting Christmas New Year period for you. Just give us your memories of that, because I know you went back to Brighton, and then you were coming back, and you weren't. Yeah, I. Um Obviously, I had a phone call saying I think maybe one of the Brighton players um, was suspended or, or injured. I can't remember exactly, but they had Southampton and um, obviously my loan finished. Um, I'd been actually back to Brighton uh, the previous week and I think they thought my loan was, was finished then. They wanted to chat and, uh, and see where I was. And um, Obviously, when it did come to an end, I, I went back and played against Southampton and we won 3-0. I played right back and, and played well, and um, then I was really unsure of what what lied ahead for me because they basically offered me the opportunity to stay um, with a obviously a, a longer contract. Um, so then it was really down to a, a decision uh, for me and my family at the time to to what I'd done, and thankfully I, I chose the, the right one and, and and decided to come and sign for Bournemouth and, and never really looked back. Not long after you signed, though, Lee Bradbury left the club as manager, a new manager came in. Um, and the end of that season, I think it was a mid table finish, and the start of the following season personally wasn't a great period for you. No, no, not at all. When, um, when Lee got the sack, it was, I was absolutely gutted because he was the one that obviously gave me uh, my chance and, and had real confidence in me. Um, so when he, he did, um, did leave, it was, it was difficult. Um, obviously, the manager that, that replaced him um, had his own views and, and wanted to take the team his, his own way, which um, <coughs> was yeah was, was fine with me. But obviously, I found it difficult to to nail down a, a regular starting spot, um, which was difficult. And we, we we were struggling equally. So uh, yeah, that was a difficult period in the, in the club's um, uh, history and uh, obviously in mine as well, which. It's probably the, the only real low point in my career. And the appointment then of Eddie Howe changed everything and certainly changed things for you, although you did have to prove yourself to another manager. Yeah, definitely. It was, um, I'd heard all about um, Eddie and uh, it, was, it was something I was really excited about because uh, I knew the way he wanted to play and um, his philosophies. And I did have to wait a while to get in the team because we obviously, as soon as he stepped in the building, he we started winning. Um, obviously, the first game that he took, well, he, he arrived, we, we beat, was it Tranmere? 
Um, and then we went on a, a, a winning run after that for um, a while. So I had to wait, obviously by my time, played in the FA Cup. I think Daniel Redbridge was my first game here under the manager. So um, I do remember a, a lot of the games I played in and, and what I had to do to get in the team. And it took a while, but thankfully once I did get in, uh, I never, I was never going to let it go. And I wanted to stay in the team as, obviously as long as possible. Lots of highs in those 300 appearances. Promotion 2013, 2015 and a, a player of the year. Any particular high for you? Um, it's, it's so many, like you say. It's um, the, the, Obviously the highlight is, is the promotion. I think um, both promotions were, were special. Um, the League One one was, was, was really nice because we were... We, we come so far in such a small space of time to, to get promoted. Obviously, it was put a bit of a dampener when we didn't win the league, but the, the championship winning season still to this day is my, my favourite season. Um, the emotions we got through, through that season it was, it was incredible. And the, the night where we beat Bolton was, um, was unforgettable and um, something that will stay with me forever. And yeah, that, that season was, was, was the best for me. Your eye for a stunning goal as well. Just pick out your favourite goal. Um, my favourite, I'm going to say Newcastle. Um, not for the for the best, obviously, finish I've done, but for the for everything involved, the emotion, the, the timing of the the game. I I um, come out of the team and it was my first game back. For, I think um, for a couple, and I really had something to prove and. Um, that for me on a personal level was, was huge and yeah, that, to this day it's my favourite. Yeah. 139 Premier League games the club have had and you've only missed six. What's the secret been for you? Well, I'm gutted I actually missed the six, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, the secret, I'm not sure if it's a secret, but I never ever want to miss a training session. I don't like missing games. If I've got a, a little niggle, I'll definitely do my best to, to come through it and um, the belief I think um, obviously I've had bad games and bad moments in, in amongst there them little problems were, were nothing to what, I, what I've had to deal with in the past so yeah I, I never want to miss a, miss a thing. You say you don't like missing games you've only had to miss one match through suspension since you've been here which is quite a remarkable record for a a central defender obviously we don't want to put the, the, the put the mockers on that or jinx that at all but how has that happened as well? I mean, that is an astonishing record. Um, I've been very close on a few times. Um, obviously with my bookings, I think maybe last year I totted up quite um, a few quite quickly and I had to manage myself from, from there. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, I was brought up quite fit in football ways and by my parents to be quite disciplined. Um, so maybe that's um, helped out on, on the pitch. Uh, as a as a young player, I was quite maybe a little bit reckless with some tackles, even in training. And um, over the years, I've obviously become calmer off the pitch as well. So um, I think that goes hand in hand. And um, one final question, Steve. Um, lots of games to come, hopefully in the future for you. I know you've started some coaching badges already. What does the future hold for Steve Cook? <sighs> um, yeah, hopefully uh, uh, the rest of my career here. Um, Hopefully a lot more, like I say, a lot more games for, for the club. And um, yeah, I've looked obviously into and, and started doing my, my coaching badges. Uh, I completed my B licence with uh, a few of the lads last year and um, I'll probably continue to, to try and get my qualifications as quick as possible and then start learning um, a different way of the game. Um, and what better, what, pl what better place to, to do it under obviously the manager and his coaching staff here. So. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe one day uh, be a coach or, or, or whatever comes my way and uh, whatever happens, I'm sure I'll uh, take it with both, grasp it with both hands and, and enjoy every minute. Thanks very much indeed and Thank congratulations you. on the milestone. Thank you.